Good day to all of you. It's another learning day. This is your teacher Marlene and I have to discuss on this video the properties of rectangle, square, and rhombus. In our first video about the quadrilateral, I have introduced to you the family of quadrilateral and from the kinds of parallelogram or the rectangle and the rhombus. And a special kind of rectangle is a square. And this is the family tree of parallelogram. And we are going to discuss here their properties. Let me start with the properties of rectangle. All the properties of parallelogram can be observed in rectangle, but it has its own special feature. Let us name our rectangle M, I, N, D. A rectangle is a parallelogram whose four angles are all right angles. So using the figure, we can show that the measure of angle M is equal to the measure of angle I and is equal to angle N and also equal to angle D. And they all have 90 degrees as its measure. Another among the properties of rectangle is that their opposite sides are congruent. So sides MI is equal to side DN. The same with sides MD that is equal length to side IN. Another property of rectangle is about the diagonals. They are congruent and bisect each other. This is diagonal MN is equal to diagonal DI. So where they intersect at point S such that MS is equal to SN and is equal to DS and also equal to SI. Before we proceed to other types of parallelogram, let us prove the congruency in the diagonals. Given rectangle MIND, with diagonals MN and DI. Our rectangle named as M, I, N, D with diagonals MN and DI. We have to prove that the length of MN is congruent to DI. Let us have the column for the statements and the columns for the reasons to justify our statements. First, rectangle MIND with diagonals MN and DI. So in the figure, this is the diagonal MN and diagonal DI. This is the given condition. Now, since MIND is a rectangle, the side MD is congruent to IN. Because the two opposite sides of parallelogram are congruent, then angle MDN is congruent to angle IND 
because all four angles of rectangle measures 90 degrees. Then common side DN is congruent to side ND. This is by reflexive property. Now we can say that triangle MDN is congruent to triangle IND because the two sides and the included angle are congruent. This is by SAS or side angle side postulate. Now the other sides which are the diagonals MN is congruent to DI because these are the corresponding parts of congruent triangles. Simply CPCTC. Now, let me discuss the properties of square. This is our square, C-A-R-E. This is a kind of parallelogram with special unique properties. First of all, the four sides are congruent. The side CA has equal length measure as side AR and is also equal to side ER and also equal to side CE. Similar to rectangle, their angles are congruent and all measures 90 degrees. So the measure of angle C is equal to the measure of angle A and is equal to the measure of angle R and also equal to the measure of angle E which are all equal to 90 degrees. Another property of a square is about the diagonals. The diagonals of a square form two isosceles triangle. Let's say we have diagonal CR. So the two isosceles triangles are triangle CER and triangle CAR. However, if we draw diagonal AE, the isosceles triangles are triangle ACE and triangle ARE. Now let us see the properties of rhombus. Let us look at our rhombus FIHS. A rhombus is a kind of parallelogram whose four sides are congruent. So side FI is congruent to side IH and is congruent to side HS and also congruent to side SF. Another property of rhombus is that it is a kind of parallelogram whose angles are oblique. It can be acute or obtuse. So angle H is congruent to angle F. These are pairs of obtuse angles. Then angle I is congruent to angle S. And these are pairs of acute angles. Properties of rhombus with regards to diagonals are the following. A rhombus is a parallelogram whose diagonals bisect each other. We have diagonal HF and diagonal SI, such that HD is congruent to 
IDF. The same with ID is congruent to DS. Diagonals of rhombus are perpendicular to each other such that the measure of angle HDS is equal to the measure of angle SDF and is equal to angle FDI and also equal to angle HDI. And since they are perpendicular, the angle measure is 90 degrees. Now to avoid confusions, let us prove the perpendicularity between the diagonals of a rhombus. Let us have rhombus R-O-S-E with diagonals R-S and O-E. And we are going to prove that diagonals RS is perpendicular to diagonal OE. Now let us prove that the diagonals are perpendicular. Let us start with the statement, the rhombus ROSE, and let us draw the diagonals RS and OE. This is our given statement. Then we can state that segment OS is congruent to segment RO. These are sides of the rhombus. That is by definition of rhombus that the sides of a rhombus are congruent. Then RS and OE bisect each other. The diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. Let us have our symbols. Then H is the midpoint of segment RS and OE. This is the definition of midpoint. Now we can say that OH is congruent to itself, OH. Of course, this is by reflexive property. Observe the congruency between the two triangles. So we can say that triangle ROH is congruent to triangle SOH. This is by side, side, side postulate. Then, the angle RHO is congruent to angle SHO because these are the corresponding parts of congruent triangles. Now, we can say that angle RHO and angle SHO are right angles because angle RHO and angle SHO form a linear pair and are congruent. So if we're going to divide 180 by 2, that is now 90. Therefore, RS, which is the diagonal, is perpendicular to OE the other diagonal because perpendicular lines meet to form a right angle. That's all for today's lesson. I hope you learned the different properties of our different types of parallelogram. And so, we are talking of the properties I want to give you this food for thought. Watch your thoughts because they lead to attitude. Watch your attitudes because they lead to words. Watch your words because they lead to actions. 
and watch your actions because they lead to habits. Watch your habits because they form your character. And watch your character. It determines your destiny. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned. Thank you so much. God bless everyone.